Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab. Jody with another video for you. This time it is with my August favorites. I don't have too, too many favorites, but I do have some which I have been loving all this month. And so I wanted to share them with you. If you're interested in seeing my favorites, then just keep on watching. All right, so my first favorite is a lip balm. And this one is from Panama Jack. And I bought mine on Amazon. The first time I actually purchased this was in the Bahamas on a family vacation, like in 2012. And I hadn't found it ever since. And on a whim one, one day I went looking on Amazon to see if I could find it and I did. I found the exact fragrance or the exact flavor of the lip balm and this one is in the tropical lip balm. It does have SPF and it's a great lip balm. I think it's very very moisturizing and long lasting and also the SPF has an added benefit as well. If you like the scent sort of like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream then this is sort of along that same line. It's a very tropical coconutty kind of fragrance but this is a very inexpensive lip balm and I do still love my fresh sugar lip treatment but this is definitely a lot more affordable and something that I wear every day. The next product that I have been absolutely loving is from NYX Cosmetics and this is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. So it's definitely a mouthful but this eyeliner is really, really good. Oh, it's funny, I just noticed it says, this eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. Okay, NYX. Actually, I used this eyeliner in my subculture palette tips and tricks. That video will be linked up above in the cards if you're interested in seeing how I made the subculture palette work for me. I actually love the subculture palette, but when I did my look with the subculture palette, I did use this eyeliner, and I got a lot of compliments on my eyeliner that day, and also I noticed that my eyeliner stayed on all day, it didn't smudge it didn't move from my waterline so this is actually a very very good eyeliner and I do recommend it I think people are on to this however because every time I go to Ulta and I check the NYX section it's always sort of ransacked and a lot of the shades are missing I think that this is the most similar to the Marc Jacobs highliner eye crayons it doesn't have as wide variety of shade range but if you do find a shade that you like I do highly recommend these and they run about seven dollars at the drugstore the next product that I wanted to mention, actually the next two products are from a full face of drugstore first impressions video that I filmed. I actually have not uploaded this video yet because since it is trying on a lot of new products, the editing process is a little bit longer, but I have used this product since then and I still absolutely love them. They made a great first impression and my opinion has not changed. So the first one is an eyeshadow palette and I am wearing this eyeshadow palette on my eyes today. This one is by e.l.f. Cosmetics and my only complaint is that it's a little difficult to open. So this is the Mad for Matte 2 eyeshadow palette and I am wearing it on my eyes today. I'm wearing a combination of the first three shades plus this one, a little more cool tone shade. Uh, the pink and the purple. I'm wearing that on my eyelids today and I really like the look that I came up with. This is an all matte eyeshadow palette. It is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. I do highly recommend it. This palette is only $10 and I have been so impressed with the quality of the shadows. And also, I did notice that it's really sort of right along the vibes of the new palettes that are coming out. So if you look at the Natasha Denona Lila palette, or the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. They have sort of these orangey tones, but also with some rosy tones. Now, I'm not saying that this is a dupe for either one of those palettes, obviously, but I think that it's definitely on trend with what's coming up for the fall. And these are excellent eyeshadows. I was really, really impressed with them, and I really, really recommend them. The next product from my drugstore first impressions, stay tuned for that, please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it, is this Milani eyeshadow primer. So this is a lightweight invisible finish and it works on all skin tones. This is in the shade 01 Nude and I was really really impressed with this. This eyeshadow primer is about $7. I will leave all the information linked down below. I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. It does have a tone when you use it. So that's it on my skin right there. You can see that it does have a slight tone to it, although it's supposed to be sort of an in invisible finish. I find that because of the consistency, once you set it with an eyeshadow or a translucent powder, it has a very nice smooth finish. I've just been really, really impressed with this eyeshadow primer from the drugstore. I've been using it quite a bit and I thought I would add it to my favorites and recommend it to you all.
The next makeup product that I have, it comes from the Dose of Colors uh, Desi Times Katie or Desi and Katie collaboration. I actually did a whole review video on all the different products that I purchased from the line and I did purchase quite a few. I think I have everything except for two items. Now there were some hits and misses but this was the absolute hit. This is the highlighter in the shade Mirame. Now I thought that because I have more of a medium skin tone that Fuego might be a little bit too light for me so I picked up this one. Even though it looks a little bit dark on the pan, but this is the highlighter that I'm wearing today and it just never ceases to amaze me. I have never been one to be able to get this beaming highlight in real life where my texture is not accentuated and it catches the light just right. It just matches my skin tone so well. I love this so much. I actually wish I had purchased the other one just to see if I can make it work for my skin tone because I can see myself hitting pan on this and because it is limited edition, I won't be able to get it again. Maybe I should be buying a backup on the restock. Let me know down below if you picked up anything from the collection and what you thought about it. The last makeup item comes from my Las Vegas makeup haul. I was recently in Las Vegas for a dance event and I went to the Inglot store there. I went to multiple Sephora's as well as the NYX store that was there. And I went to Inglot and the girl recommended this setting mist. It's a makeup fixer spray. This is incredible. Like you can see, I haven't used that much, but I have used quite a bit. And I have used it specifically during dance performances as well as when I have glitter on my eyes. And this is fantastic. I'm talking Urban Decay All Nighter level. Like I think that this is even better than that. I think that the all-nighter sort of makes my face feel a little bit stiff, which I understand because it makes the makeup last longer, but this, this is incredible. It is incredible also to foil eyeshadows, so if you want that really sharp metallic finish in your eyeshadows for your lid shades, spraying your brush with this Inglot makeup fixer is amazing. Now this is, I believe, the larger bottle. It does come in a smaller bottle if you want to try it out. But I cannot recommend this enough. Like I think from that haul, this is absolutely my favorite product. If you're interested in seeing what else I picked up, which I picked up a lot of really great products, then I'll leave that video linked up in the cards too if you want to check it out. But this, I think everybody needs this. I really like it. And I have dry skin. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. It's a handy makeup fixer in a form of light mist that will ensure long-lasting makeup. Unscented and alcohol-free creates a transparent satin film that protects makeup. Now, the mister is a little bit tricky. I mean, it works really, really well. But what you want to make sure is that you press the mister all the way down and you can see how the mist is very very fine if you try to do it sort of halfway to just spray a little bit then it's not gonna spray evenly and the effect will not be nice so you want to make sure you fully commit to that spray and you would not be disappointed I love this so 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 much all right I have two more products the first one is actually this little makeup box NYX recently opened a retail store here in the Chicago area. It's in Woodfield Mall and I went there to check it out. And they had a promotion going on where if you spent a certain amount of money, you would get a certain set of free items. Now I purchased quite a bit and I received this for free and I just think it's so cute. It's a little miniature train case, but when you open the lid, sort of all the different sections open up. And it does have a mirror, but you can see that even this one opens up. I still have my receipt and a lot of stuff in there. I haven't filled it, but I want to use it to display some of my makeup. I want to put it on my shelves and just display some of my favorite makeup products there. Or I think that whenever I have dance performances, I can take this along with me, especially since it does have a small mirror there and three individual compartments. But I just thought that this was so, so super cute. It even has a set of keys, and when you close the top, everything else closes along with it and I thought something you know as a free gift this is not bad at all and I thought it was really cute if I can find it on their website I'll be sure and link it below but I just thought it was so cute and yeah I really I'm really excited that I got this and I have really been loving it even though I haven't started officially using it yet all right, my final product is not really a makeup product at all. It's more of a lifestyle favorite. One of the few items that I have actually shared on my channel, but this is a book. And this book is sort of, I don't want to say a self-help book because it doesn't read that way. I think that this is more of a psychology book. 
yeah, and there actually there's a lot of psychology studies that are included within the book. Now I bought this when I went on my trip to New York City, which was also a dance related trip. And I had a long layover or a long flight or I don't know. I got distracted at the airport and I saw this one. And as I was skimming through, I saw that the sections were really, really short. And the tips that they give on how to talk to anyone are really things that can be applied in your professional life, in your personal life. And they're just really interesting things that you may not have otherwise considered in your interactions with other people. Now, I don't know how to pronounce the author's name, but it's Leo Lowndes, maybe? And it's funny because when I was first reading the book, I sort of thought that it was a man. I don't know why I thought that, but as I continued reading further, I realized that this was a woman. Now, it doesn't change anything, but it's, it's just something interesting to know. I don't know why I thought that. I haven't finished reading the book yet. I am in section 30, but it's it's a really nice book. I've really been enjoying it so far, and I wanted to include it in my monthly favorites. All right, that's it for my August favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy monthly beauty and lifestyle favorites so that I know to keep making this type of video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave. Joining my little makeup lab here, I'd be happy to have you. If you're not new, then you probably are recognizing that I have a new background. I I've moved my beauty studio around a little bit so that it's both a little more functional but also that it looks a little bit better on camera. I used to film with my bookshelves um, or sort of my makeup shelves behind me and now they are over here to my left. I'll get have you get a peek. See they're right here. I used to film with these behind me but they're a little bit dark and I think that it would move the focus. I still have the makeup here and it's all like within reach so it's very easy to film. Let me know what you think. I like it. I'm really comfortable with it. I think it looks cute and I'm enjoying it. So that's also an August favorite. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a fantastic month of September ahead and I will see you very very soon on my next video. Bye!